Yeah, sat in the sun, knocked off a little bit early. Yeah. He's an all right gaffer, actually. He's an all right gaffer. Casper's got it all right. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Easy life with Val Davis Electrical. <laughs> <laughs>
I always like to go into a room and just strip everything. So down lighters, sockets, switches, everything like that. Like I said, with that, with that stripping tool that I, I shared in the first tip, you can just save yourself so much time. A lot of the tedious and time consuming part of second fixing is obviously dismantling the cable, stripping it. So if you can run round and quickly strip everything with a, a really nice little tool, that's gonna save you loads of time, save you all that you know tedious, repetitive sort of task and just condense it into one, you know, one hour workflow or whatever and then you can just go back to the room everything's stripped everything's ready to go and you can just crack on so yeah I've always second fixed like that or <laughs> when I worked out that was a better way to do it I've, I've always done that for years and uh, yeah I definitely wouldn't go back to like stripping as you go it just really doesn't make sense to me Another tip, tip number four, that goes sort of hand in hand with pre-stripping is sleeving up. Now, especially commercially where there's blue sleeving, brown sleeving, other sleeving types to use as well, it's super important. But even domestically, cut all your sleeving beforehand. So if you know you need an inch worth of sleeving for every down lighter and you need five inches of sleeving for every socket, get all those cut in a little box that you're gonna carry around with you and then you're not worrying about, you know, cutting sleeving and all that. You can also use the sleeving to determine determine how much to trim the cables back because you know you've measured that sleeve in perfectly you can slide that on trim all the cables at that length and it's the perfect second fix length so yeah again I've always done that just because it saves you having to yeah cut sleeve in every time two different sizes and it also determines the perfect length to make a accessories. This next tip is a simple one, goes without saying, but marking up cables. Now it's easy when you're wiring to mark up using a Sharpie, it's really clear and it's sufficient, it's universally understandable, but when it comes to second fixing, you really wanna make up a little way of marking cables that you know. For instance, a cross is a feed and one line is a switch line, two lines is a second switch line, so on and so forth. What that means is that you don't have to rely on marks on the cable, so if it's been written on and then painted or plastered over you're not going to see that so you don't have to rely on any of that and also the marks can be transferred once you strip the outer sheaf off you can then do the same marks on the browns same marks on the on the neutrals or whatever and then that way as you strip the cable down and slowly put it away second fix it you haven't got to keep you know checking what's written on the cable or write it down on a bit of card you can just use the cables at hand and uh, yeah, get it put away quite easily. As soon as I got shown this method, it saved me so much time, second fixing like eight gang switches and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just a useful tip that I thought I would share with you guys. This next tip is uh, a bit of a sticky one if you are an apprentice or if you're not in a position to get one, but honestly, get a apprentice. As someone who's been an apprentice and someone who's had apprentices working under me, not my own, but at various companies, I've, I've had apprentices to work with and, and teach, and that's amazing, but they're also so handy. They can run around, do all the legwork, you can uh, get them to do the repetitive tasks or the tedious tasks that you can focus on more important things. They can also just speed the job up massively. You're going to initially lose some time when you first get an apprentice teaching them and stuff like that, but they are worth their weight in gold once they get going. Once they get a bit of knowledge under their belt and they, they found their feet, they're, they're decent with tools, they're going to save you so much time, so much money, they're going to allow you to second fix quicker, run to the van or make off sockets do whatever you need them to do they're going to speed the process up and they're going to uh yeah help you out i sort of said this as a tip because a lot of people i speak to are like nah i don't want an apprentice don't want the ag don't want the hassle but honestly as someone who's been on both sides of the fence and worked with a lot of apprentices there are you know some really good lads out there keen lads and uh, yeah they're super helpful to your business and to uh, something as simple as second fixing so this one might be a bit controversial especially for any any old school sparkies listening, any stereotypical sparkies, but tidy up as you go. Now, we always get a bad name for not tidying up, and I think it's more to do with all the little drop-ins, all the little fiddly bits that we have to deal with all the time as electricians. Um, they do get left everywhere, they do you know, get left lying around, but the biggest tip is tidy up as you go. There's nothing worse than smashing out a load of second fix, it gets to three, four o'clock, and then you've got to go around and tidy everything up room by room, all those little bits of cable, little bits of copper, wrappers, those little caps that go over the screws, anything like that, they're all fiddly little bits, as if you just sweep up the room, or even better, have a little bag or bucket that you're dragging around with you, you know, against the wall underneath the accessories that you're second fixing, you're just gonna tidy up as you go, you're gonna save yourself stress, 
going to save yourself time and as well you're going to make a really good impression if the client does walk around or the foreman does walk around they're going to see that you're working neatly you're working cleanly and yeah it's just a great image to portray as a tradesman simple one not a lot of people are going to like it but yeah tidy up as you go right so my next tip is actually based on just buying the right gear and it's wagos so wagos make it so much easier to second fix over terminal blocks ryan's actually second fixing the switch now he's the wago man as well so oh, ryan, ryan. <laughs> what's the crack with these then do you know what like the old terminal blocks you put them in screwdriver do them up this egg you get exposed points on the connector block yeah, yeah. as well. So the way you go, it's just so simple. Innovation at its finest. Put it on. There we go. We are connected. The good thing about the way goes are as well, obviously testing as well, testing purposes. A lot of people think once it's connected, how are you going to test it? Well, way goes have dedicated testing points on the back and as well as the front, just underneath the sign there, you can get your GS38 approved Pro in there as well for testing. So that's so another advantage to it as well. Five ways, three ways, two ways, inline way goes. The possibility is endless. You can also obviously get the old push, pushing yeah, two, yeah. two twos are they? I'm not sure, these are two two ones, but I generally like to keep with the lever connections. Do you might just swap them out and that? Swap yeah. them out, it might be a little bit more dearer, but for me personally, it's preference, and I prefer the lever connections. Yeah, so top tip there, don't be cheap, grab some way goes. <laughs> This next one's really, really petty, really, really simple, but end of lines. End of lines are the last uh, cable in a circuit. So generally there's two cables on every accessory or more. The end of line is, you know, it tends to be easier, especially as someone who's second fixed hundreds of points on a circuit. When you get to the end of line, it's, uh, it's nice, but it's also easy to walk into a room and go, I'm gonna do the end of line first, treat myself. Um, or if you're working in a pair, you'll, you'll opt for the end of line because it's easier. But honestly, save it to the end. It does so much more for your morale, especially, like I said, someone who's had to go around and second fix hundreds of sockets in dado or something like that. When you get to that end of line, if you set it for the end of the circuit, it's like a reward at the end. It keeps morale high, it incentivizes you to keep going. And uh, yeah, if you just get out of the way straight away, what have you got to look forward to, especially on something as tedious as, yeah, <laughs> making off 30 sockets or making off you know 20 lighting points or something like that so yeah tiny little one but great for morale save the end of line till last right so that is us done i've uh, managed to get a little bit done for ryan look <laughs> a little bit <laughs> christ he's never come around me again <laughs> yeah got uh, got some down lights done we've got a couple of rooms second fix we've got some content as well had a bit of a laugh on tiktok and that but yeah i'll catch up with you guys at the boozer so we just sat down at the pub ryan's got the beers in after buying me breakfast as well so he's spoiling me <laughs> but yeah sat in the sun knocked off a little bit early yeah he's an all right gaffer actually he's an all right gaffer casper's got it all right what can i say <laughs> what can i say easy life with Val davis electrical <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're gonna uh, enjoy these beers and um yeah try not to talk about work now but hopefully you learned something hopefully you enjoyed the tips if you've got any of your own tips as well put them in the description in the comments let us know and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.